Hey guys, welcome to uh, today's video. So in this video, let's uh, play around with Nano Mesh and create something uh, super cool. So we're gonna create a uh, basic cube, low poly cube, and then what we are gonna do is create a, a low poly hexagon, uh, apply that to the cube as Nano Mesh, and then insert a uh, cone inside of it. And the result is gonna be something uh, very similar to uh, what you are seeing here. And on top of that, if you uh, merge your shape into one, you can also go to your uh, deformations. And in here you can uh, play with some fun deformations like spherize, you can uh, do some fun things here. Another thing you can do is maybe do something like the twist. You're welcome to play around and uh, do some fun experiments, right? All right, so let's do this. So the first thing we want to create is our box. So to create the box, it doesn't really matter which uh, tool you choose, but I'm going to click on the sphere. That's fine. Let's go to initialize. And in the initialize, let's change this to something like five by five by five and say Q uh, cube. And that's gonna, if you turn on your polyframe, you should see something very similar uh, to this, right? So you have a cube with five by five by five. Now let's do this. Let's click on another uh, tool. So I'm gonna click on this one here and let's create uh, the six uh, sided hexagon that will be used as a nano mesh. How, so how do we quickly create a hexagon out of this? Uh, to do that, I'm gonna go to move I'm gonna click on this little gear icon. I'm gonna click on ring 3D. And if you look closely, there's two red cones. Let's go in on the uh, inner one and let's just dial this down to six sides. And that's gonna give us the hexagon that we want. Now there's another one uh, that we can dial and that is the inner green one, right? This one is called S divide. Currently it's set to uh, eight. Let's dial this down to maybe uh, six. So that's going to give us kind of a low poly hexagon that we can use for our uh, nano mesh, right? So uh, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out of the perspective view, but I'm going to snap right in the uh, front and you can see uh, your gizmo should be facing frontwards, right? Uh, and let's go ahead and jump back into our uh, Dynamax box here. All right. Let's turn our perspective camera so we have a cool um, angle. And next I'm going to go to my brushes and I'm going to go to Z uh, modeler brush. So I'm going to grab that. Let's hover over a face right in the middle, press space bar. And let's go ahead and do uh, insert nano mesh and let's do all polygons, right? Next, uh, I'm going to hover again over the center and press M on my keyboard and if you press M you should be able to see your polymesh 3D the uh, hexagon that we created so I'm going to select that and I'm just going to start dragging out one right in the center and let's do like a cool overlap and we are going to attempt to do it you know relatively straight you can of course rotate it but I'm, I'm just going to align and intersect kind of the top and the bottom of each one and I like how that looks if you wanted to play uh, more with the rotations, you can always go to uh, Nano Mesh. And in here you have a few different options. You can do, uh, you know, rotations uh, here, right? And you can rotate them every each way you desire. So that's here, you can even make it random. But for this example, let's just leave it at this. And now let's go ahead and create a cool, uh, maybe a cone inside as well. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to, uh, let's go to geometry and let's bake our current uh, nano mesh into uh, geo, right? So if you wanted to use this as a game model or bring it into another uh, game package or 3D package, you definitely wanna bake your nano mesh into geo. So to do that, let's do convert BPR to geo. So I'm gonna click on that. And now this is sculptable mesh, right? Which is great. Uh, next, I'm gonna go ahead and go to split, and let's do uh, let's do something like split to uh, similar parts. I'm gonna say okay, and that's gonna give me a different layer for my box, right? So maybe for one second, let's go ahead and hide this, and let's take a look. I'm gonna press M, and this time let's go ahead and grab something like the uh, cone 3D. And let's just drag that out, right? 
And uh, because we didn't create this cone, right, we're dragging one that's currently existing as part of the uh, tools, right? We, that means we need to kind of rotate it into proper position. So to do that, let's go ahead and go back into uh, geometry, I mean, uh, nano mesh, and let's do some uh, rotations here. So I'm gonna rotate this maybe 180. I need to rotate the X to, uh, let's see, to something like 90, right? I'm gonna manually type in uh, 90, press zero. Another thing I would like to do is let's do an offset. So let's go ahead and offset this on Y and just make sure that it's kind of barely, you know, going inside the cube, right? Let's also offset it on Z as well. So I'm going to bring this down and make sure that it's somewhat uh, centered on, on each uh, face. So I have something like that. Very cool. Let's go ahead and go back to our sub tools. Let's turn on our uh, other shape and here we go. So this is what we have. Let's go ahead and turn this off. We can of course also change uh, material to be something a little more interesting. Maybe this reflected uh, metal seems pretty cool. And there you go. So that's, uh, and then of course, again, if you wanted to bring this into uh, like a game engine or do some more sculpting or bring it into, you know, like Maya or Blender, right? Make sure you convert the BPR to Geo and that's gonna kind of bake it in once again. And there you go, so you have something that is super uh, interesting. Let's turn the floor off. And uh, Nano Mesh is a lot of fun and you can change the material. You can also, at this point, uh, also subdivide it. We can do Control D a couple times. We can make it nice and smooth and you can see the results. All right, let's do a BPR. So thank you uh, so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun, you learned something new, and I'll see you in our next video.